Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about video analysis in MATLAB. Video analysis is becoming more and more important, especially with the advent of the autonomous cars. In today's video, I want to cover the basics of video analysis in MATLAB. Let's get started. As I said in this video, I want to talk about basics of video analysis in MATLAB. Video analysis is becoming more and more important, especially with the advent of the autonomous cars. A video is a sequence of images called frames captured and eventually displayed at a given frequency. Here's the video I am planning to analyze. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the basics of video analysis in MATLAB. Then later on, we do a more sophisticated problem. In this video, I want to show you guys how to read a video file, show a random frame of it, and then how to make changes to the video. In this video, I am changing a colored video into a black and white video, just as an example. Let's go to MATLAB and see how we could do that. As you can see, this is a very short script, as I'm just going to be covering the fundamentals of video analysis in MATLAB. First, we start with clearing all the variables, and then I'm going to be clearing the comment window. And as you come down, this is where we're going to read the video file into the variable called VET. To read the video file, we use the command called video reader. And this is the video file in the format of MP4. And then I'm going to be specifying the number of frames in our video, and I'm going to be reading the second frame and I'm going to be showing it using I am show. So this is the first part of the script and I am going to be splitting the script into three parts separated by keyboard. So when I run the script it's going to come down here but then it's going to be waiting for me to allow it to run to the second part and then the third part. This is just something for my own convenience so that I would just first run the first part and then the second part and then the third part. So let's run the first part and see the results. So as you can see on the right side, you could see the number of frames, which is about 500. So out of those 500 frames, I am showing you guys the second frame here. After all, each frame is a simple RGB image, and we could just show them as an RGB image, as you can see here. Okay, let's keep running. In the second part, I'd like to change the colored video into a black and white video, and then save it. To do that, I have to first come up with the name of the file in which the black and white video is going to be saved. So the file is going to be called black and white, and AVI is its format. So the variable that is going to be containing the black and white video is going to be called rider width. And then I have to first open the variable. So the variable is going to stay open while the video is going to be saved into it one frame at a time. So here, as I said, the variable is going to stay open, and then you're going to come down to this for loop. The for loop is going to go through all the frames, and it's going to be reading the frames one by one, and it's going to be changing them into double precision, and then it's going to be changing them into a grayscale image, and then it's going to be saving them into this variable called rider with one frame at a time. So it's just it's going to go through this for loop one frame at a time, and all of the frames are going to be saved into this variable called rider with one frame at a time. So after the for loop, we're going to have to close the variable. So the variable is going to be saved automatically into this file called blackandwhite.avi. Let's run the second part of the script and see what happens. See, as soon as I run the second part, there is a file here called blackandwhite.avi that's going to be containing the black and white image. So it's ready for the third part. For the third part, it's just very simple. I'm going to be opening two play. So here we have two IM play open. I'm going to be using one of them for the black and white video and the other for the colored video. Let's open first the black and white video. You go to File, Open. I'm going to be choosing the black and white video. For this one, the colored video. Open. Let's play them at the same time.
So you could see they are both the same. And the one on the left is the black and white version of the one on the right. This was a very simple tutorial, but it's going to be very helpful for you guys to get you started on your video analysis. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you and have a nice day.